Hello everyone, my name is Hector Mendoza. In January of this year, I uploaded a video on uh, how to use your Disto measuring device in exact and stability. Uh, I was in a hurry, so you know I had a level three certification that I had to take that day. I took it past it, but uh, now I'm coming back and doing it where I'm not in a hurry. Okay, so uh, the first thing, when you go to my, where you're actually gonna be in my uh, video, uh, you're gonna see this thing right here at the bottom. See, this is what it's gonna look like, okay, in YouTube. Right here at the bottom where you see my name, you have some stuff that's selectable, okay? Now, if you just, click on this uh, link, it's gonna take you directly into Disto, okay? This is the program you have to have in order to run Xactimate, okay? Without this software, it's not gonna work. So, on my other video, people were having problems. They said that they would click and click and click and nothing would happen because they were trying to up, uh, upload this stuff. You see this little arrow to the right-hand side next uh, next to uh, this tool software? If you click here, it's gonna bring this little dialog box. You click on View App Details. Then this will come up. The next thing you want to do is you want to download. And if you look to the left hand side right here, you see that? Once you see that little red um, icon, it's ready to install. So don't be clicking and clicking and clicking because you're going to tell it to install a bunch of times. So all you have to do is be patient. You click on it, and now just hold on for, you see right now, you see it's doing this thing. Now all you have to do is hit yes, hit okay, hit next, agree, install. Then it's gonna ask you what language you want. In this instant, we're gonna use English. So, but you can use the language that you prefer. <clears throat> it takes a little bit of time, but it's worth the wait. DisoCAD plugins registered. Okay, so you're gonna hit finish. And hopefully you didn't hit uh, hit that button a bunch of times because you're gonna have to do this a few times if you hit it two or three times. Okay, so now you should have two icons in the desktop. There you go. There's those two icons that I was telling you about. You know, it's best to keep your desktop clean. I have thousands of files in my computer, hundreds and hundreds, I mean thousands, literally. But you see, you want your desktop to always look uh, or you, manageable. Okay, so now, this thing ha has, has already been installed. So you have two, uh, two icons. Okay, if you double click, on the first one, this is gonna come up. Okay, so the way you test, now there's a step that we need to take before this, but I wanna show you, okay, so that you don't get ahead of yourself. And I know that I have to do something before this, but see right now, if I click here, if I turn on my device, and I click, actually it's paired, 
That's why it worked. I was hoping that it wasn't paired, but I'm gonna unpair it and pair it for you so that, because uh, on y'all's it's not gonna be paired. I was hoping it wasn't unpaired. Okay, so what you wanna do first is you wanna go click for this search engine, right? And just type Bluetooth. I'll, you really have to just type B-L-U-E. And that's the first thing that's gonna come up. When you click here, It's going to show you all the devices. You see on mine, the distal is there. I'm going to turn this guy off. Okay, so I'm going to click here and I'm going to remove it. Now you won't have to do that because yours is not going to be. Okay, so depends on how many devices you have. You're going to go through here and you're not going to see my distal, right? Or yours. So then what you have to do, first you turn it on, okay, you hear that little button, then you hit plus, and then you're going to click on the first thing that says Bluetooth, all right? It's looking for, see, it found all of this stuff in my house, okay? So the one that I want to pair it to is this guy right here, the Disto, and yours, gonna might, yours might be a little bit different, so I clicked on it. It says your device is ready to uh, to go. Hit done. Okay, now you can turn that off. Now, when you go to your disto, now you could click here. Now I'm going to show you something. So I'm going to click here, and look from here to there. It's about seven or six feet, something like that. It's eight feet. On years, it's not going to do that because yours is going to be set on MM or M, okay? So when you click, you're going to get this thing that says 2.8 because by default, it's going to be set on M or it might even be set on MM. Yeah, it might be set on MM, okay? Uh, regardless, you want to make sure that you select yards, feet, and inches. Okay, so once you do that, you get the right measurements. Okay, good. That's about eight feet from my, my wall. We have that part done. Now, the next thing you want to do is go into Xactimate before you even start opening up any files or, you know, any estimates or creating any, the first thing you want to do is go to your preferences. Okay, under, you know, you're going to go to the preference that you want. And you're going to have to set every single pr uh, uh, profile accordingly. So, uh, first we're going to do the carrier, okay? because that's what most people have. But, you know, if you use Liberty Mutual, you're going to have to do the same thing to Liberty Mutual and so forth. Okay, so you're going to go here under Projects, Sketch, General, System, right here. You're going to click here. You see right here where it says Enable Sketch Distal in, uh, Integration? So let me show you what would happen if you don't have that selected. So watch. I'm going to go to projects. Okay. Um, oh, let me go to control center. I'm just going to open up. You see right here the profile? It has to be the same one you're looking for. So I'm going to go to carrier. I'm going to double click. I just want you to see what it looks like before. Uh, before you change that preference. So I'm going to hit R for room. Okay, right in here on the left hand side, you see there's not a, a Bluetooth icon. It's because I'm going to save and exit. I'm going to go to my control center. I'm going to go to my preferences. I'm going to go system and right here. 
you need to enable it. And remember, I'm using carrier, and that's the document that I'm opening. You know, you only got to do this one time. Set the preferences one time, and I'll remember it. Remember it from now on. Okay, for that particular carrier. Okay, profile too. Okay, so now, now I'm going to go to uh, my projects, and well, I'll go to my control center, and then uh, you can go either way. It doesn't matter. You already got it set. So I'm going to open up this one file. Oh, there's Liberty Mutual. That's not going to work on Liberty Mutual. Uh, unless if I, you know, I might already have the profile set. So let me show you something. So if you go to Sketch, and I'm just picking in here. Okay, good. Okay, you see on the left-hand side, it's not working. But... If I open up, I'm going to tell it, uh, yeah, I'm going to save it so I don't, next time I open it, I don't have to worry about uh, that, uh, the text thing. Okay, so now if I open up uh, Carrier, if I double click, go to my sketch, now look to the left hand side. There's that yellow and blue icon. That's telling you this is linked up. Now, I'm gonna show you something. Okay, so so if you go in here and you hit our room window or whatever you're gonna use, and let me make sure, okay. So right now, if I click here and I hit that button nothing okay so the reason that it's coming that it's working is because I have the software open okay so I'm going to turn off the software okay and now I'm going to click here and then I'm going to aim nothing happens right because you have to have this software working. It has to be on or it's not gonna work, okay? So I'm just gonna go in here and double click to launch that. Now, uh, now I can go into Xactimate and, and if I click here now, See, now it's working. See, now watch. It's already, I've already got it in there. So you see, once you do this, you know, you, you'll be able to draw rooms real, real quick. Of course, you know, it uh, takes a, you know, it takes a little bit of practice, but once you learn it, and man, it's, it's going to be nice. So that's all there is to it. Same, you know, now this thing, when you open Symbility, if you're a Symbility person, man, that thing's going to work. Symbility, you don't have to, I don't think there's any preferences you got to set there. It automatically knows it's there. Okay, well, thank you for watching my video. Um, I hope I explained it better this time. Uh, let me uh, so in the bottom of my video, uh, well, I guess I already turned it off. So let me see. Yep. Uh, so at the bottom of my video, let me go to my to open link. <clears throat> You're going to have some text. Right underneath there, next to my name, there's a link, which I'm going to post. You don't see it on this one here. Or sometimes you might have to hit more, and it'll give you more information. But 
you're going to see this link right here. here. Let me hit return here so that I can separate those two. I'll put that just like that. Save that. So if you, all you're going to have to do is click on it. But if you copy and paste this link into uh, a search engine, you hit Control V, hit Enter, you'll find over 74, 75 videos. That, that, that explains a lot about Xactimate and Symbility. Okay, guys, thank you for watching my video. Have a good day.